There's always something interesting happening at the B&O Railroad Museum. Let's take a moment, a museum moment. My name is Ron Drucker. I'm a member of the Board of Directors of the B&O Railroad Museum. I'm a retired B&O, Chessie System, and CSX Transportation Railroader. I was the last president of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Company. If you were at the museum a few weeks ago, you might have noticed a strange piece of railroad equipment peeking out of one of the doors of the North Car Shop. It looked like a double-deck stagecoach on railroad wheels. And that's exactly what it was. The particular coach, the Maryland, was a replica built in 1927. It was an identical copy of six similar coaches built in 1830 by Richard Imlay of Baltimore. These coaches were part of the original trains of the B&O Railroad. They were pulled by horses initially. The Maryland was built in 1927 as part of the 100th anniversary celebration of the railroad. The railroad went all out. It built a stadium in Halethorpe, Maryland, just outside of Baltimore. In that stadium was a one-third mile loop of track, and that track was the centerpiece of the pageant, the Fair of the Iron Horse. The history of transportation went down that track. It started with Native Americans on foot, men and women on horseback, Conestoga wagons, first B&O trains pulled by horses, the Tom Thumb, and then a train with the locomotive Atlantic and the coaches, Maryland and Ohio. At that time, this was a very important point in the B&O's history, and it had a celebration that showed how much progress had been made in America's transportation. When the Atlantic was steaming, it might not have been such a good idea to sit on the upper deck of the Maryland or the Ohio. You can see the smoke coming out of the smokestack, blowing back on the passengers. The museum just recently has restored and put back on display the original 1927 train, the Atlantic, followed by the Ohio and the Maryland, is now on display at the museum. Railroads have always been interested in acquainting the public with their latest and best and most modern equipment. Just a few months ago at the B&O Museum, CSX Transportation had two of its newest locomotives on display. The 911 is a locomotive dedicated to the spirit of first responders. Painted in camouflage is number 1776, the spirit of the armed forces, dedicated to our men and women in uniform. But it's always been a tradition for railroads to display their latest and best equipment. And so at the Fair of the Iron Horse, the last exhibit to steam around the track was B&O's newest passenger train, the premier train, a six-car version of the Capital Limited, pulled by B&O's newest locomotive, number 5300. In 1927, B&O bought 20 of these locomotives and named them for the first 21 presidents of the United States. 5300 was President Washington. If you wanted to see President Washington today, all you need to do is go to the B&O Museum, where she is on display. In 1927, she was always the last locomotive to steam onto the stage. But seven years from now, in 2027, 
when the B&O is celebrating its 200th anniversary, you can bet that President Washington, the number 5300, will be leading the pageant to celebrate the B&O's 200th anniversary.